Lots of lots of crap. Okay, so this is what we do at the start of every video. Lots of crap on the table. Mm -hmm. Lots of drinks. Yep. There's yeah. drinks hidden behind the time machine. Mm -hmm. uh, and here we go. Three, two, one, market. I'm Andrew Yoshimura. And I'm Robert Bailey. Welcome to the end of year bit seizure message. We used our real names there. Yeah, it's a little weird. I actually feel a bit overexposed right now. Um, I'm not wearing my... Smoking jacket. We, we have them behind us because we feel naked without them. Yeah, so today we're playing um, no one. We're actually appearing as ourselves. There's um, not a lot of difference between Andrew Yoshimura and AC, nor... Nor uh, Rob and Robert Bailey. Um, we're pretty much the same, um, a bit less hyper, maybe? Probably. Yeah. I, um, the, whenever I, I always need to wash my V-neck black t-shirt, I'm like, I need to play AC on the weekend. <laughs> AC is actually my fucking nickname. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, it's like, everyone calls me AC, but, you know, if I need to play AC, I need to get this washed. So I always wear a V-neck. So why do they call you AC when your actual name is Andrew Yoshimura? You know, <laughs> you, you, you of course know the answer to this. Thank you for the segue, though. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Very professional. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rob and a friend of ours, Hugh, mm. actually gave me the nickname AC. My maiden name, before I got married, was Andrew Campbell. I married my Japanese wife back in 2010, and she's an only child, so I decided to take her surname, so they could continue on their lineage. Yeah, so there you go. So that's, that's the reason. That that's, explains it. Yeah, that's why I'm Andrew Yoshimura. So the, the, the forums, the Bit Seizure fandom, <laughs> was um, a buzz. <laughs> I'm trying to figure that one out. Uh, I, uh, I think everyone knows. I'm quite, I'm quite proud of it, actually. Mm. I, like, I like being Andrew Yoshimura. It's yeah. fun. Oh, that's cool. So this is the end of Bit Seizure for 2014. That's right, last episode. Well, it's not really an episode, but it's a thing that we're doing. Yeah, okay, so basically we're going to ramble. We've yeah. got lots of stuff, lots of crap on the table. We're going to talk about Bit Seizure. We're not going to play a game today. No. We're just going to, yeah, ramble. Yeah, I uh, didn't really have much planned, but we've got some booze. We've got a, lot, a head full of thoughts, and we're going to reminisce on the year that's passed, and look forward to the future that's ahead of us. <laughs> uh, so join us, won't you? You already have. Well, that's great. <laughs> strap yourself in, yes. and if you've got a friend who says, I don't want to watch this shit, strap them in. Yes, tie them With down. ropes. <laughs> Chains is also good. Chains are good, yeah. Harder to escape from. Mm. Mm. I, I, got, I got my pipe. Yeah, I got a pipe too. That's actually my pipe, but I, I will let Rob. It's actually got a little chimney, so it's like you can actually open it there like that. Yeah. It's really Gives you the sort of uh, uh, paternal, sort of fatherly uh, look when you have a pipe. You know? We're gonna shun back in my day. Yes. YouTube videos only went for 20 minutes. And, and they were shit. Shit, I told you. <laughs> How come yours look so professional? You can point at things to the pipe too, and that, that's fun. That's you know? yeah, that's beer. Right here. Mm, it's not good, bad. It's a good beer. Not a bad beer. Yeah, yeah. We, we're not sponsored by anyone, by the way. Yeah. You will have noticed that we don't put ads. In front of our videos. Yes. No ads have ever appeared on any of our videos ever mm -hmm. uh, because we want to keep it ad free and we don't have a lot of subscribers. Yes, so that kind of works out well for us because we're not losing much by not having ads. <laughs> and, it, uh, and you know, it works out well for the people who do watch us. Yeah. And we don't have a lot of people watch us, but the people who do actually subscribe and interact with us are kind of, they're fans. They're yeah. actual fans of what we do. It's kind of bizarre to think that we actually have any fans at all, but. We um, really appreciate um, your support and the fact that you're interested in what we do at all is it's kind of amazing. So We've had a few people um, go, why the hell are you people more popular? <laughs> well, because we don't advertise ourselves. Yeah, we don't advertise, we don't make any efforts to, to get the name, the, the, the word out about us. So it's up to you guys to do that for us because we're never going to. <laughs> at least I'm not. Yeah. So the deal is that I Bit Seizure is actually completely 50-50. This is unfair on me because I do all the fucking work. Yeah. I set up everything, I write all the scripts. Yes, there are occasionally scripts, like the Death Trilogy. <laughs> uh, I do all the editing, which is my most hatred of jobs. Mm. And uh, we do it all at my house. And yeah. I also supply all the booze as well. Most of the booze. More or less. More or less. Yes, 90% of the booze. <laughs> so, uh, so when I'm doing this, so basically, despite the fact it's 50-50, I'm the showrunner for Bit Seizure. The only thing I ever ask Rob to do, Rob, can you please be PR for us? Can you please promote our videos? And you said? Uh, sure, I'll try. Um, 
then I decided that uh, social media was something I didn't want to be involved in. Um, so that's where our promotion kind of ended. <laughs> Rob used to promote the occasional video at the start of the year. I but... put some effort into it and um, didn't really get a lot back. But I did um, until I decided, good, yeah. like I said, to sort of uh, get off the Twitters and the Facebooks. He decided he hated social media, so he got off. Yeah, and that's led to a situation where we don't have any promotion at all because AC's too busy editing our videos to... <laughs> I feel bad about promoting as well. Like, there's something in me that kind of thinks, oh, I don't want to really want to bother people. And everyone always advertises their videos, and if you go see them, they usually shit, and maybe people think owls are shit, and, you know, they are, but we like them. <laughs> so in the end, we do this because we love doing it. Mm. We love the games we play, we listen back to our own videos, and fucking cack ourselves laughing. Yeah, not literally. Although, there are some risky moments there. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's a weird thing because uh, I look at our, our stuff and I, it's a mixed bag because on the one hand I recognize that this is like very low tech, very like, um, um, it's, it's, it's the bottom tier of YouTube entertainment in a lot of ways. We don't put a lot of effort in terms of money spent. We don't spend Heck of a lot of money. I spend these. a lot of money on my collection, but yeah. not on the equipment we use. The equipment is based pretty much as basic as as, as uh, you can get. It's a uh, basically a little little sort of handy cam, and we use a snowball mic to record. Uh, the snowball audio. mic is pretty good. I think it's it's not professional quality, but it's it's good enough that it, it carries everything. It's a lot better than what we used to use, which was our mobile phones. We actually used to use our phones to record everything, then sync it up. That was shit. Yeah, we come a long way since the uh, days of 2013, the heady days. Of 2013, so, when we first started. Our first video was... Uh, blah, 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 blah. It was Bayou Billy. Bayou, the Adventures of Bayou Billy. Yeah. Bayou Billy? Or Bayou, like that. Bayou. Mm. Fuck that, I don't know. Who knows. It was funny, we still go back to that video and laugh, but since then we've learned to deinterlace, we've learned better intros, we've learned how to perform better. This year we've actually put ourselves on video, we've had an intro, we've often had skits. Yeah. So we've, we've really kind of put ourselves up there, and as I said, no promotion. So if you happen to come across this and, and just subscribe, thank you very much. We yeah. actually appreciate it. I don't know how you guys found us, but we're really glad that you yeah, did. We're actually kind of hiding ourselves. Yeah, in some ways, I don't, I don't know about you, but I, don't, I sort of don't want to get popular. Fuck and I feel no. like if it ever did get popular, I'd probably quit. Um, like, but in, in some ways, like the fact that it's completely obscure means that I don't mind doing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's part of the fun of it, because we can get away with so much. Yeah. And all we do is just kind of sit behind a desk, make stupid jokes, hmm. and we eventually watch our own stuff back, and we think it's hilarious. Yeah, and, and some I... other people do, like Steve, Cat yeah. Max Gaming, he supported us a lot, um, has actually said on once or twice, one or two occasions, why are you guys more popular? Because we don't promote our work and we don't care. Yeah, we don't we don't promote our work. We don't really interact with uh, many people in the YouTube uh, community. But people um, who interact with us, we try and interact back. Like with Steve, Steve's videos are really cool, actually. So check out Catmax Gaming. Like, yeah. Little, little heads up there. Little for plug you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve. Steve's, Steve's awesome. Yeah, Catmax, check it out. <laughs> um, yeah. So. This year has been much more concise, though, in terms of what we wanted to do, and it's been a lot less random in the games we've chosen, although sometimes it's been a bit random. Yeah, it's been, it's been a weird sort of uh, uh, amount of, of sports game, more than we probably would like. But So we did Shane Warne, and this here is actually what Shane Warne looks like. We don't have a camera, but we can't zoom in. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it came free with beer, and that's what, um, that's what Shane Warne looks like yeah, now. Yeah, pretty much exactly. Um, Get out of here, Warney! <laughs> we hate you! We hate your game! Good riddance. Yeah. Um, yeah, we never quite figured that game out, did we? No. <laughs> we didn't figure out most of our fucking games. We played a lot of games this year, made a lot of videos. Yeah, um, we did. I think it was, on average, probably about three a week. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and that, that's actually a, a lot for people who actually have full-time jobs and... Um, and get absolutely no money out of this. As I said, yeah. there's no advertisements, so... Mm. No ads, no revenue, we just do this for fun. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's it's been a blast, honestly. It's been fun. I, I, I took some time off um, to get married. He's married? Yeah. You're married! My, my Congratulations, poor, uh, Robert Bailey! My poor, poor wife never really understood why I do this. Um, she, she, she has been here for a couple of recordings, mm. and so has my wife. My wife is usually here and she says nothing. Even when we try and encourage her to say something, she's like... Keep me the fuck out of your weird internet videos, you freaks. I, I, I took the last month off, more or less, to um, get married and have my honeymoon and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I kind of, it's weird, I kind of missed it. 
Um, being back here makes me think, gosh, I really don't miss it at all. <laughs> but um, I did, know it's true, I, I did kind of miss it a little bit. So we'll, okay. we'll, we'll still be uh, making videos. Um, so this is where the bad news comes in. Yes. Yes, we'll we'll be continuing to make videos in 2015. We will still be bit seizure, and mm -hmm. Rob and I will always be bit seizure, and I don't think we'll ever close it off officially. Mm. Because we'll just taper out like a the old we, man's life at a rest home. What we did quite a lot this year, mm. um, and we doubled our subscribers. We went from like 19 to 44, and I think that's great. Yeah, I think other people would say you guys are shit. You're good, <laughs> weren't you? And like we think it's fucking fantastic. I'm happy that anyone watches it at all. <laughs> Frankly. Um, shit, I just sit there like clicking 44 times. Hey, this is shit's great. But doing but three a week, that's a, it does take a lot of... Three a week? Of, three a... Uh, did you say three a week? Three a month. Three a month. Is... is yeah. it's, more or less, yeah. it's a... Um, it does take a lot of time and, and energy. And it's not something that, that we can both really keep up um, um, moving forward. Um, so Rob's married. Yeah. I'm married. I'm saving for a house. Rob's beginning his married life. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we love doing what we do, but we're going to slow it down quite a lot. So, so there's seeing it like one a month fish. There's, yeah, there's two reasons for that. Mm. Yeah, number one, we've both got our own separate lives, which we need to do. Mm. Rob and I both love playing games, and we're still going to play games together, but we're just probably not going to record them mm. on this level. Yeah. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that I'm actually going to be doing my own kind of solo project. Yeah, he's going solo. He's leaving the band. Uh, start his own solo career. I'm a massive fan of Game Boys. I have like almost every incarnation. I love handheld games, so I shall be doing my own new series called Prince of Handhelds, so keep an eye out for it. I'll link to it. I don't know. I'm working on the pilot at the moment. It'll be actually proper reviews rather than let's plays and stuff like that, so hmm. I'm. it's a lot more work for me, scripting and editing, but on the other hand, I'm actually quite passionate about Game Boy, so hopefully something will come up out of it. You know, yeah, no I guarantee there, but hopefully something will happen. I, I, I actually, I will, in, in all honesty, without any trace of sarcasm, say that you are well equipped to talk about handhelds. Um, you actually know what you're talking about when it comes to handhelds, and you have a lot of handhelds, so... <laughs> I've um, done the research. I've yeah. The Game Boy. I think if anyone can do a, a video series about dedicated to handheld gaming, it's it's you, so I wish you all the best with that. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. And I look forward to, uh, to watching those episodes. Yeah, as soon as, soon as I pull the finger out and actually get to make finishing <laughs> off the pilot. Yeah. I, I'm actually about to go to Japan in about two weeks. Um, so this is why we're doing the end of uh, video, end of year message now. Mm -hmm. We've actually just finished the golf video earlier today, and we've had like just several drinks. Which is what you need when you're playing this golf yeah. for half an hour. And this is kind of like our end of year party as well. So yeah. the end of the party will actually end with absinthe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our old nemesis and dear, dear friend on New Year's Eve. Yes. Absinthe, of course, uh, Green Fairy, 60% alcohol. Lovely. Yeah, so we'll... Um, That'll make, I'll put the hair on your chest, kids. Yeah, and then take it off, and then you'll probably die. But you know... It's all, all in the fun. It is fun. So, Rob, what was your favourite your favorite video this year? Gosh, uh, there's been so many, hasn't there? I, I think I was talking about this with you earlier today, but I think I, the one I really enjoyed the most uh, was the... Um, it was the it was the 15 games in one cart that you got. You were given... You were loaned... Was it loaned to you? By it someone? was loaned by Jack. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks, Jack, Jack. Friend of the show. That was great. I really enjoyed that video because we went into that cartridge without playing it beforehand. We had no idea what we were going to see, um, and in retrospect, that was one of the fun I think one of the funniest videos we made. It's it's always a bit hit and miss when you dive into a game without trying it, but I think it it, it, it worked really well. The games were just the right level of like crappy but still funny, playable, um, executable. Yeah, you knew what you were doing when you mm. when the moment the game turned on, and um, um, there's a lot of I, I had a great time. Uh, filming that video, a lot of laughs, and um, that's the kind of thing that I enjoy the most, is the spontaneity, uh, and uh, it's weird, but we put a lot of effort into some of the videos we made this year, like the Death Trilogy, for example, was took like literally months of, of, of work. Yeah. Um, so much planning and uh, elaborate sort of makeup and stuff like this. 
Um, um, but it's sad, it's a weird sort of sad thing to say that the one that I enjoyed the most was the one we put the least effort into. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we just shoved it in and we said, let's go. And then halfway th about, you know, kind of the first game, I decided to say, if, is this a game or not? And that also kind of worked for it. Yeah. Uh, so I really like that video. I haven't seen it. Check it out. Um, what's the cartridge called again? Uh, Max, Maxi Pack 15. Maxi Pack, Pack 15. Yeah. yeah that you was... watch that video. It's a good video. Most of our videos are actually pretty good. I, my favorite skit mm. was the, uh, Dr. Mario one, I think. The Dr. Mario Tetris cart we did where I... Um, yeah. Yep. I was the doctor and I cut the top of your head off. And... <laughs> that was pretty good. It was, that was fun. Mm. And if anyone says, what? I say, oh, I went filming on the weekend. What did you film? It's like, oh, God, shit. These people have no idea what retro games are. I'll just show them this skit. And that usually gets a laugh out of them. So that's mm. good. Yeah, that, uh, was, that was quite funny. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. And that's a tell you what. That's also that video has, has um, given us one of our new favorite things to do, which is to play um, two player Tetris um, on, we, on the weekends. We do it all the time. Yeah, we yeah we just love two player Tetris. Doctor Mario, but you know Battle Tetris. Fuck yeah, we're right into that. Yeah, that's good fun. So our our table here is strewn with bits. My favorite and also least favorite series of videos is Death Trilogy. Yeah, that was that was pretty amazing. Um, Death Trilogy was, you know, uh, I had the idea for Death Trilogy way before it started. The hardest video I had to edit was Death Trilogy 1 because my computer was fucking up at the time. Mm. It wouldn't dissolve things properly, which I needed to do a lot, like when the time traveler comes in and stuff like that. We've got the time machine here. We've got the sword here. Uh, we've got uh, Rob's personality disc here. Yeah. And it's actually got a... A little hole in it as well. So. Yeah, after that was fried by the. Uh... It was fried and it snapped, and I uh, I put it back together because I thought it would be um, looking good. A little memento. Yeah, it's kind of like Batman, you know. It's like in his cave, he's got all these like crime mementos. I've just got this like hanging off a wall, like Rob's <laughs> person backup personality disc and shit. So that was that was a really great. Uh, I, it was a weird weird thing to say. I mean, to the casual viewer, that video would look right. Those videos would look rather amateurish. Um, but we put a great deal of effort into them, for us anyway, um, and I think it was worth it. Yeah, uh, they I think we enjoyed great. it, it looked good, it was funny, the people who watched it got a laugh out of it. Yeah. If you do, didn't know who we are and you just happened to stumble across them, it's probably not for you, to be honest. Like, it was kind of like a, a culmination of what has happened this year. It is a bit of an injury. With the NES uh, golf cartridge in joke. Yeah, that's kind of like our uh, a running gag for 2014, and we kind of tied up tied it up nicely, so maybe we'll have a running gag for uh, 2015 for you. Yeah, as I said, we're not going to be filming quite as much. We do have a couple of ideas so far. Um, mm. First of which, I got these Welds of Power, and I've got uh, Simon's Quest. These are novels. Wizard and Warriors. <laughs> these are actually uh, novels, not game guys. Bionic Commando. And Blaster Master. And now these are numbered like 1 to 6, so we're missing a few, but... These are actual novels that you used to buy through the school scholastic publisher. I yeah, think. yeah. So, you know, we, we might, uh, we actually, correct me if I'm wrong, you own cartridges for, for the majority of these? Master Blaster we've done a video on. Uh, Wizards and Warriors, I think I own number three and the Game Boy version. Okay. Bionic Commando, I have the Japanese version, which is called like uh, Hitler Top Secret Mission or That's something right, like that. That's right, yeah, something to do with Hitler. That's so weird. Yeah, it actually says Hitler and has Hitler on the cover. That's so weird. So, <laughs> even though it's overdone and it's been done to death, next year, what we're going to do, and this is like a little sneak preview, we're going to play Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, while Rob reads out the novel. Yeah, why not? Um, it's, it's pretty small and it's got big print. I don't think we're going to get through the whole thing. I, that's not a good idea. But it just, it just seems like something that would be amusing and, um, the book was was created by FX9. Um, FX9. Not written, created by FX9. So, um, that, 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 it can't be bad, can it? Simon oh. thought he had destroyed him, but Count Dracula may have the last one. Curse that handsome devil! Oh, <laughs> that Dracula. So, that's one thing we're going to do. We're also going to do a, um, a, a commercial whore video as well, where we're going to get... Uh, games that have been commercially endorsed by products like the Seven Up Spot and uh, uh, McKids, McKids and, and like Checks Rabbit Doom or some shit like that. Yeah, so we'll put that together and we'll we'll do a, a whole bunch of uh, free advertising for all the different companies. This, and we're actually thinking that we might actually put um, ads on that one, <laughs> kind of somewhat ironically, just to see what happens. If you put ads on, do you get more hits? Do you not get more hits? I don't know. Well, we're gonna find out. Mm. 
Uh, so we've got plans for next year, but as I said, they're not going to be quite as big as this year was. Uh, yeah. So Bits Easier is not going to die, so keep checking back and we'll keep doing videos. Mm -hmm. Now, last time I went to Japan, I got us pipes. They actually sell lolly pipes. So it's like a, a plastic pipe with stuff you have to suck out in them. It's something you never see in Australia because yeah. they're terrified of, of kids being um, sold smoking tobacco products and, and alcohol and anything fun really so. <laughs> anything fun. Um, so here we go so since pipes are occasionally a bit of a theme on bit seizure we've got our we've got our drinks let's have a beer let's clink beers and then have some lovely pipe juice yeah lovely cheers, cheers to 2014 bit seizure thank you very much for watching thanks for watching yeah, let's give this a go oh mm. that's immediately different than what i thought it would be <laughs> It's like thick and syrupy. Is it good? I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> Mine's pretty much chocolate syrup. Yeah, it's like caramel, I think. Yeah? It's like, you know, the inside of a, um... It's like that, that layer in a Mars bar. Oh. Mm. That doesn't sound too bad, actually. Mine mm. just tastes like chocolate syrup. They, mm. they sell these for like, um, 30 yen, which is like 30 cents in like some stores. Mm. I just thought that way. What, what we're going to do with these is we're going to refill them with air and then we're going to put <laughs> put tequila in them so we can have an emergency tequila pipe! Mm. <laughs> That's not bad. Hey kids, mm. you know what's great fun? Smoking pipes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> There's a throwback to one of our old episodes. Mm. That's right, yeah. Uh, Two Crew Dudes, I think it was. That's right, that was, that was here, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. That's a weird game. That is a weird game. So what are we going to do for the rest of our party tonight? Mm. We might actually play a good golf game. Yeah, after playing a bad golf game all day, I kind of got the hankering for a... Um, for some spankering? <laughs> Stop that. That too. Um, yeah, I kind of got... I'm in the mood for a, a good golf game, so we, we might play some... Was it Everybody Golf, or what do you call it? Yeah, like? Minato Golf. Uh, Everybody yeah. Golf for PS1, mm. PS2, and PS3. I think I have the PS3 version, which is fun. Mm. So we'll do that. Um, we might watch some MST3K, which if you can't tell, obviously, it's been a big inspiration <laughs> for us. Uh, um, especially that uh, N64 video I picked up from the fucking dump. <laughs> that was another good one. I love that video. Retro gamers, if you're looking for some quality stuff, the dump is your friend. The dump is the retro gamer's friend. The dump is where you go first, <laughs> not just for dumps. <laughs> Alright, well, mm. uh, thank you very much. If you watch this all to the end, thank you mm. very much. This is just our thank you to you from Andrew, AC Yoshimura, and... And, uh, Rob... Rob... Bailey? <laughs> it doesn't work with it when you don't have a... No, no, Ro Robert Rob Bailey. Yeah, I, mm. I mean, we could have stopped the video there and done it again. I have no idea how long this is going on for. Let's... We've been drinking for a while. Fuck, let's just keep going, man. Let's, let's push it to the limit. <laughs> What else do you want to even talk about? <laughs> I don't know. We should probably wrap it up. Okay, thank you very much for watching Bit Seizure this year. We've had a, a ball. I am hopefully going to Japan. I'm probably going to Japan. Hopefully they'll let me back in. Mm -hmm. uh, I should be able to get a whole bunch of new merch over there and Nintendo games and Famicom games and stuff like that. Mm. We will be back next year. Not to, the, not to the heights that we did this year, but I reckon we should do at least 12 video games kind of once a month mm -hmm. that are of reasonably good quality. Mm. The best of the bunch in terms of, of the games we play and the skits. Something yeah. we'll enjoy to play and also make fun of as yeah. well, hopefully. Um, so, what's your favourite game for this year? Let's let's. What was the f the most favourite game you actually played? This the one year? I enjoyed the most. Yeah, mm, there's been so many. Because we play some shit games, but we play some pretty good games as well. Top of my head, I mean, it was really fun to to play, sit down and play um, Action Fighter. I know that's a weird choice, action fighter for the master system, but it kind of creeped everyone in the room out how good I was at that game. <laughs> and I hadn't played it since I was 10 years old. I pick up the controller and I'm like remembering everything. I'm like doing all the little sort of secret thing. I remember the, the, the secret code that gives you, um, you know, all the ammo and, and upgrades and everything. And it was pretty funny. That was weirdly fun, but... It's a weird thing to say. It was weird because he did so well at the video, it wasn't even funny. It was just like, oh shit, he's really good at this game. What do we say? <laughs> but maybe maybe the, in terms of pure enjoyment, I'd say that, I'd say two-player Tetris. Again, I, sorry, I hate to sort of sound like a broken record, but 
I really enjoyed that game, and it's something that we've, since that video, have come, gone back to a few times to play more of. Um, yeah, it's timeless. Do you, want to, do you want to play that tonight? I want to play that tonight. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's play tonight. Yeah, I love that. I love that game too. I reckon uh, we didn't record it, but uh, two-player Bubble Bubble is probably my favourite game. Mm. Uh, but my favourite recorded game would probably be Power Blade. Mm. I just, yeah. I really love that NES game. Like, it's, it's, it could have worked on any platform. It could still work now, and it's still a good game. And that's really when you know it's got a lot of metal behind it. It deserves some recognition as well, and hopefully. Our little efforts will at least turn a few people on mm. to the merits of that game because it's really good and it deserves to be recognised um, as a as a good late era, a late entry to the to the NES uh, library. So, okay, thank yeah. you very much for watching. I shall now turn it off, and this is what happens. We usually you, cut, you kind of see my black shirt and then fade to black, and then oh god, he's back! Ah.